Hey, Diana, your favorite astronaut is December 7. It's 3 p.m. Eastern Time, and I am doing another video here as another update. Uh, this is not a mandatory update. It's going to fix all the latest bugs and insects that are in the <laughs> apps. Uh, I have all three telescopes, the two Dwarf 3 and Dwarf Mini. I have some problems with Dwarf 3, with Dwarf Mini, and I want to show you what happens and what can you do. And also, I have to go and read a lot of comments and, and find uh, the actual situation. Telescope connected. I'm going to use the same device. I want to be as real as possible. You may not have multiple devices to connect this telescope. Connect. I don't know if there is an update for Dwarf 2. I didn't see it on the post. We're just going to check. It looks like Dwarf 2 has uh, an update. I don't know which one is. If you don't get notifications uh, by email or on Facebook about the uh, upgrades, just look on the settings. And if you see this red circle, it means there is a new update or upgrade. So I am going into settings. Red here, let's go into my device, down into firmware upgrade. When you see that maybe next time, uh, it's probably that it's not a mandatory upgrade. And it's telling me to upload now. There is a version 2.0. 2.5. I was using it the other day. I didn't get this, so I'm going to upgrade. So mm -hmm. I was not expecting this one. Upgrade request fail. Okay. So why? And now it's telling me firmware loaded. Please reboot your dwarf now. So I am going to do that. Now it's going to go here on red and immediately into green. So reboots now. Connect again. These are the steps. So you just follow the, what it tells you on the screen. Device not found. We kind of like see a pattern here that kind of like they all do the same thing one time. Just go ahead and search again. Go here and connect success. And now I am going back into settings. My device, it looks like, I don't know, that's the uh, firmware version that it says that it was going to upgrade version 2.25. You can always look on the website on the help center for Dwarf Lab. Um, let me go back here to home and just do a quick... Uh, connect and see what happens. So all that looks right. So I, we'll just have to test it. I will have to try it when I have clear skies again. So Dwarf 2 have upgraded to 2.2.5. <laughs> okay. If you have been watching my videos for a while, thank you so much. I also have the membership program, which is the program that keeps uh, these channels going. It's very simple. And I provide PDF documents for many of the tutorials and other settings that are very important in astrophotography for smart telescopes, traditional gear, uh, and also the editing software.